Harry, Harry, this is Lord Potato. And this is What If Luffy Became a Marine, Part 2. Yes, there's a Part 2 from Part 3. Also, I am I am also dead tired from last time. Uh, you are probably wondering, wait, seriously? Again? Tired? What the fuck? Well, yeah, I am tired. Uh, I've worked the whole day, so fuck off. But not the point. This is the part two. Um. Yeah, I was gonna record it yesterday, but nah, I was still kind of still too depressed. But other than that, um, this is part two. Going to do it, and yeah. Also, go subscribe to my channel. Iconic what ups, open to what ups. Links will be in the description. But other than that. I have this what if and I have another what if, but I'm gonna record the other what if tomorrow. This what if will probably be uploaded also tomorrow. Tomorrow meaning the next day, but yeah. But I'm going to try to upload it today. I say try lightly because there's no way in hell. My leg, I had like a cramp, like twice. I had twice a cramp in my leg, but yeah. Uh, but other than that, let me begin to the what if and shut the fuck up. But yeah. But let's begin. So we go into Luffy. Luffy after kind of just smirking at Carp. Just says, oh, I am sorry. Terribly sorry. I get too overconfident for myself. Well, I must be leaving. Uh, have a nice day, uh, Garp. Garpson. This is where uh, Luffy starts walking away. This is where Garp says, Luffy, I want answers. This is where Luffy says, sorry, you're going to have to take take it up with my, uh, well, well, uh, what's it called? Uh, leader in command. <laughs> sorry about it, but I can't really talk anything that is not about work. And I don't really care about family or anything, so I'm sorry. Can't really talk about that. Luffy starts walking away. Garp was about to grab Luffy until Luffy disappears. This is where Luffy appears out of the well prison. This is where he walks past that one poison dude. And this is where that uh, poison dude says, So, how, have you, um, how was your little conversation with the Fire Fist Ace? Mm, I wanted to kill him, Luffy said. This is where he said, you know, if you kill him, that would have been a crime. Luffy says, I know. So when is his execution coming? Hmm. In about three days. Three days? Huh. I really want to eat popcorn while watching the chaos. Well, mostly him dying. And then everyone crying. <laughs> That's where that news is. Whatever. I will have to protect this place. So I won't be able to watch it. Luffy. Luffy says, I guess so. Luffy and, uh, what's it called, um, that's where his name is Megler, and of course he says, well, I must be leaving then, or I must be going back to protecting. Luffy. This is where Luffy says, well, goodbye, Megler. This is where, well, Megler and Luffy kind of talk to each other. The reason why is Luffy always comes down to kind of either, uh, go a little bit irrational kind of just laugh at the prisoners while they're slowly dying and decaying so yeah so Megler knows about Luffy's little little what's it called uh tr not trauma he knows a little bit about the traumatized because Luffy was attacked by pirates and Luffy just wants the pirates to suffer as it were well he knows it's kind of bad for a young fella like Luffy to have such traumatic uh, well, experience, but also kind of have a feeling that he wants to kill all pirates and see them suffer. That's a word. Well, Naruto walks away. Now, Naruto, we go, uh, not, bleh, not Naruto, Luffy, Luffy, Luffy. <laughs> I can't believe I just said Naruto twice. Now, we go into Luffy, and we go into, well, a two-day time skip. Luffy is now right next to Aikido, and Aikido says, so, Luffy, we are going to have the execution execution day on, well, tomorrow. Or not tomorrow. The next day after tomorrow. I want you to be prepared. You know the plan, right? 
you know, plan white and plan black. Well, plan black is not needed, but plan white is always needed. Since we get, uh, what's it called, your, what's it come? With your intelligence and how you probably figure out how devil fruits are created and how they can be come back, I want you to just in case if you're next to him, the strongest man alive, I want you to be able to kill him. If not, if he dies into something else by our man or something, I still want you to be next to him. And I want to know if that little experiment you talk about is able to happen. That's where Luffy nodded. That's where Luffy says, what about Code Black? That's where, well, Aikido says, Black, well, he won't be much of a problem. Unless he's going after also Code White. There's a good chance. But, if that's the case, also kill Code Black. What about Rubber? This is where, well, Aikido says, your sister doesn't really matter. I don't really care about the gum and gum and no me. It seems, you, well, worthless. This is where Luffy thinks about it and says, fine. But this is where Aikido says, but if she is there, kill her also. No hesitation. Luffy says, yes, sir. This is where Luffy said, yes, sir, so fast because he dreamed about killing her, murdering her. This is where, well, Luffy gets out of the office because he was in the office. Luffy is now going to prepare on something. This is where Luffy gets to his room and starts kind of experimenting on stuff. Luffy is a genius and always has been a little bit much of a genius since he was a child. Inventing things and also creating things just for himself to help. Some things are useless, but some things are pretty good for people that don't actually have double fruit powers or even kind of use armor and hawking. This is where, oh, Luffy has created so many, uh, like, inventions towards the kind of, well, Aikido's group mostly. Mostly the soldiers are under Aikido and also under Luffy's control. But yeah, this is where, well, Luffy has created multiple kind of inventions that will actually help people fire, well, what's it called? Like, fire a cannon, like a small like small big can from the risk that's like a kind of like it's strapped to their hand and yeah this is where well he also kind of created other things like explosion bombs uh smoke bombs and other things just some little gadgets that the soldiers can actually can survive from a dope for user or something like that but these smoke bombs are not just smoke bombs they are also Made with a little bit of, well, sea prison. A little bit of particles in it. As it were, well, these uh, sea particles will actually manage to kind of, well, let the normal users that don't have uh, a double fruit manage to escape, but also manage to probably get a sneaky kill on the double fruit user. So, yeah, because if these double fruit users inhale the smoke, their double fruit will kind of get numbed. Of course, not to a point where they can't use it. They can't still. It's just, well, it will get kind of numbed and towards the point if they keep breathing in the smoke, the, uh, well, the, what's it called, sea presence will still get in them, kind of making their dope food kind of useless a little bit. And they will have to kind of rely on Tantan's combat. But not the point, but yeah. But also the cannonballs and other things like explosion things do have sea prison inside them. Luffy kind of did get a lot of sea uh, prison because he did ask Aikado. That's a word. Well, the next, well, couple of day passes. Now we go into, well, Marine Fort versus Pirates. There is the three uh, Amarils. There's Aikado, uh, Ka- what's it called, Kazuku. And also, uh, fuck, wait, Kizaru and I- Aokiji kind of next to, well, I uh, what's called Aikado. So, uh, Kizaru, 
is right next to Aikado, and Aikado is right next to uh, Akuzishi. Basically, the ice user. I'm probably fucking up that name, but yeah. Of course, this is where they're all sitting down. And of course, this is where on top of them is well, the execution of well, Ace. And of course, there's the two executioners and also the fleet admiral, if I can remember right. Yeah, the Kai that can go into a Buddha. Uh, well, kind of a Zoan type is a uh, mythical type of called Buddha. But yeah, of course, this is where everyone else is down there. Except for Lucy, uh, well, not Lucy, Luffy. Luffy is kind of in the side kind of background. He's watching this, watching how this will play out. His mission is not to go out there and fight and protect and try to let the execution happen. Even though he really wants to watch Ace just get beheaded. But this is where, well, he sees the fight just begins. This is where uh, White Pier appears. Sending a blast, like a very strong blast of his uh, Delphi, straight towards the three admirals. But of course, they all stand up and block it. So of course, the fight starts happening and everyone is going wild. This is where, well, Luffy is seeing Whitebeard. And that's one of his mission. Whitebeard is one of his mission. This is where he sees Marcos. Marcos is going straight towards Ace, and Luffy wanted to jump out, but this will work well. This will work well. Um, well, Garp appears, smashing his like uh, fist into Mark uh, Marcos and smashing him to the ground. But yeah, of course, this will work well. I could change, yeah, I could, bleh, yeah. The Ice User is going against Lucy. Yes, Luffy sees Lucy kind of running, and of course, there's Crocodile and the other kind of fighter, but yeah. Crocodile is being the most toxic player in the whole fucking marine fort, but other than that, yeah. Luffy kind of sees, well, Lucy keep going. That's where Luffy kind of doesn't want Lucy to free Ace, because that would be terrible. So, of course, Luffy, he does have a mission to go after Whitebeard. But, but if he doesn't have a chance, still tries to defeat anyone that tries to go to get Ace. This is where Luffy sees that Lucy is managing to uh, get through and all that. And of course, this is where, well, uh, I forgot what was that one guy. But that one guy that kind of made that uh, bridge for uh, Lucy to, well, I mean not Lucy, for Luffy to go to Ace, but yeah. But this time it's Lucy kind of getting up on that, kind of running up because she did use a Conqueror uh, Spirit. But when she tried to use Conqueror Spirit, this is where, well, Luffy, well, let me say that again. Let me go back. So, Lucy is kind of getting hit by attacks, and of course, the bridge still hasn't been built, but she's like running towards Ace, and Ace is telling her to go back and all that. And this is where Lucy says, I won't give up. This is where someone appeared. Not what's it called, the Ice User. Yeah, Ice User did get hit by Marco's attack, but this is where, well, Luffy appears. This is where something appears in his hand, an Ascidian spear stabbing her. This is where, well, Lucy screams in this terrifying amount of pain. Luffy stabbed her without hesitation. This is where Garp widened his eyes, narrowed his eyes so bad. If he looks can kill, he would have probably killed Luffy. But Luffy, no, no hesitation. He appeared and stabbed her. This is where uh, he narrowed his eyes, but also saw the ability. He noticed that happening. If he didn't stop uh, Luffy from attacking Ace, that would have happened also to Ace, and Ace would have been dead. If he wasn't there. This is where he sees Luffy smiling at, L at Lucy in pain. This is where Garp is narrowing his eyes. He never thought Luffy would be this insane. This is where Luffy says, Aw, little pirate. Do you want a little paper towel or something? Do you want to cry? This is where Luffy says, mm, No! Gama Gama Pistol! She sends a pistol straight to Luffy. And Luffy grabs it. Pulls her in and punches her in the face with an armament hawking punch. This is where Lucy gets flung back straight towards multiple well, people, almost getting hit. And this is where a bunch of, what's it called, Luffy's like soldiers says, uh, Captain, uh, what's it called, Lieutenant Captain uh, Luffy. Luffy says, all of you, get ready to fight. All of you, prepare the inventions. Don't let these pirates get anywhere near us. Stop them immediately. This is where all of them nodded, 
And this is where all of them get on guard. This is where, well, the seven warlords do see this. And this is where, well, Bohan does kind of get angry. Because even though she's not truly in love with what's called Lucy. No, that's not um, a thing mostly. She mostly sees Lucy as like a little sister to her. But yeah. This is where she was about to rush towards Luffy's direction, but this is where, well, she still has to keep the status of being a, a seven warlord. This is where, well, uh, Mihawk saw the attack and saw that the kid is pretty fast for still being, well, a kid. This is where Lucy, damn it, she getting up and all that? And this is where Luffy is going straight towards her until Marcos appears saying, oh, no, you don't. This is where he sends a phoenix, well, his, like, feet turns into the phoenix, uh, like, claw and tries to hit Luffy. Luffy sees this, and this is where Luffy just doesn't phase through it. Luffy dodges the attack with speed. Even though the thing is faster, Luffy kind of, well, not speed, he mostly blocks it with his obsidian, uh, he says, Exidian Spikes! This is where Exidian Spikes appear, and this is where Marcos almost gets hit by them. This is where, when he tries to even hit at Luffy, and the Exidian Spikes appear right in front of Luffy, he couldn't go through them. This is where he wanted his eyes, seeing, seeing the Exidian uh, Spikes. This is where he says, I see, so he has great defense. Luffy appears, he says, Exidian Spear. This is where he makes an spear on his hand, and throws it straight towards well, Marcos. Marcos dodges it, but this is where Luffy punches him in the face with an armament hawking fist. Again, because Armament Hawking does kind of neglect all the fucking devil fruits and say fuck off. So he, not neglect, I would say kind of just go through them, okay? Just easily punch him because, yeah. Uh, I don't know how to explain, but yeah. Because I'm an anti but Other than that, let me go back into the water. So, of course, Marcos gets sent back and Lucy sees Luffy. Luffy will no hesitation in his eyes. I swear, Lucy say. Br brother? This is where Luffy says, a pirate scum like you should die. This is where Ace is screaming out, no, stop, stop it, Luffy. This is where Luffy is getting closer. This is where, uh, when Luffy was about to, like, stab Lucy. This is where someone appears. They, you know that, I think he was the second in, in command for the White Bear? And, of course, not second in command. Was it second or third? No, second was Joseph, in fact, not Joseph, Joseph or some, whatever, the guy who can transform to diamond. No, it was the third, the guy that can, like, he's like a swordsman user. And, of course, rushes towards Luffy, saying, Ha ha, I will not let you hurt the lovely lady. He pulls out his blade and tries to swing, uh, swing well, no, one blade. I think it was two blades that he had. He had two blades and swings them both at Luffy. Luffy pulls out his blade because, yes, he has a blade on him. And this is where, well, his blade is kind of like right next to him. Like right kind of to the side of him. This is where, well, this is his blade. Well, not the right side of him. Mostly behind him. And this is where he pulls it out. This is how his blade looks like. But mostly it's fully black. And it does have a little bit of red. Cracks of red mostly on it. This is where Luffy says, Exidian Rush a Piercing Blade. This is where, well, the Obsidian becomes into this kind of reddish color a little bit. And this is where, well, he kind of, it started steaming up a little bit. And this is where he rushes through the guy and easily pierces him through. This is where the guy caught the blood because a good chunk of him was already gone. This is where Luffy says, you should have, like, never got in my way. Lucy is trying to get away from Luffy and getting into another way. This is where, well, she then almost gets attacked by, well... Uh, Kazu, or not Kazu, Kuzu. This is where Kuzu had a light kick straight in launching her back towards, well, Whitebeard. This is where, well, uh, she gets launched back, but yeah. This is where she smashes into kind of the, uh, boat. Well, not the boat, near the boat. Mostly on the ground. This is where, well, uh, Katakuzu, uh, yeah, Katak yeah, Katakuzu, uh, am I saying that right? Wait, let me say that again. Kizaru kind of says, Very interesting, uh, Aikado. It seems that you train a boy, and now he's a very indestructible murderer. Hmm, <laughs> That's very interesting. This is what I, uh, yeah, Aikuji kind of just says, Hmm. He is kind of seeing, uh, what's called, Luffy's kind of mirthless. 
because he just doesn't care. This war, multiple pirates start rushing towards Luffy. Luffy kills them without no regret. Killing them, beheading them, murdering them. And this is where Luffy says, a sudden spike. A domain. This is where around Luffy appear so many spikes piercing through so many pirates. This is where the blood is going down from the spikes. This is where Luffy d uh, disappears the spikes. And this is where he grabs a spike from one of the Obsidian like spikes just before them kind of dissipating and throws it so far straight towards Whitebeard. So fast. This is where Whitebeard says, Hmm. No. This is where he kind of like smashes the air and this is where he pushes the Obsidian uh, spike somewhere else and then it appears into someone else. Luffy says, Damn. This is where, well, I kind of, yeah, no, not I kind of, not Kaido. Aikado says, Luffy, get back here. Yes, sir. This is where Luffy appears right next to him. And this is where Aikado says, hmm. This is where he says, well, I got to make them all feel this much pain. This is where, well, he says, Magna Magna. Uh, acid, not Magna Magna, I said even uh, Rush. No, he says Magna Magna Meteor Shower. This is where he kind of sends multiple like magma punches up in the air and starts sending them down straight towards the pirates. Some of the pirates can't escape and they get hit and yeah. And this is where um, uh, Lucy is kind of getting back up. And this is where White Bear says, You should probably stay down, Straw Hat. If you would have gone there and if it wasn't for one of the Amaros kind of just light kicking you, you would have been dead from that one captain. Seems that captain doesn't like you at all. What is that? Did you piss him off or something? Is what Lucy's getting up there? No. I now know who he is. Luffy. Is it where White Bear says, Ugh. I don't really care what relation you have with Luffy or whatever, even though it sounds the same as your name. Is he some kind of relative to you? Yeah, twin brother. Lucy kind of said out loud for Whitebeard to hear only. Whitebeard says, hmm, I see. So a Marine is really just trying to kill you. I really didn't think you would have more relatives in the Marine. The only one I thought would be Garp. And that's just because Ace told me about him. This is where, well, Lucy says, I won't give up. I will rescue uh, Ace. And I will defeat my brother, Luffy. I don't care if I have to kill him. Luffy says, Kill me, you little brat. This is where Aikado says, Luffy, calm down your emotions. This is where Luffy says, yes, sir, sorry. This is where, well, a bunch of, like, uh, well, soldiers are getting ready, just kind of using the inventions of Luffy and all that. And this is where Luffy says, sir. This is where Aikado says, it will. This is where Luffy kind of shows Aikado something very fast. Aikado says, interesting, so I guess your experiment wasn't wrong, but it's not the right little experiment that we wanted. This is where Luffy says, yes, but I can see that now, after kind of holding on to multiple fruits, it seems that a devil fruit can be transferred towards a specific type of fruit. This is it where, well, Aikado says, then good, if we can definitely kill white beer we can probably attain his devil fruit and that will be one less threat towards while the world government if he nodded this is where uh what's it called uh kazaru and also i didn't actually hear what luffy and what's it called aikado were kind of uh what's it called talking about but yeah this is where well this is where white beer says hmm if you can get to your brother i will help well, as best as I can. Now go, Straw Hat. This is where she's running straight towards it. Of course, Jimbe appears, kind of helping her. Kind of, like, put her... Well, she gets pushed down to the water and all that. But Jimbe did help her to kind of, like, launch her up to the sky with a water just around her to kind of, well, throw, like, a giant wooden attack straight towards the emeralds. This is where Akuji did kind of freezes it. And this is where he says, pathetic. This is where, well, Kazaru was about to like send another light attack, but this is where other people started attacking more furious because more pirates started appearing, but yeah. 
is where Kazaru says, Ah, oh, it's very interesting. It seems that they're all really attacking at once. Won't help change anything. This is where he gets attacked by someone. And of course, this is where uh, Katakori, yeah, no, not Katakori, Ka uh, Kuzaru is right now being attacked by someone else. This is where, well, Aikishin is also being attacked by kind of Marcos. And this is where, well, Aikido is going to be attacked by someone else. But yeah, mostly White Bear is trying to attack him, but yeah. This is where, well, Lucy is kind of running through it. And this is where she's getting straight towards him. This is where, well, um,. As a car, crocodile did kind of send multiple sand spikes straight towards the uh, two kind of like executors and all. This is where, well, everyone's helping out. This is where, well, Lucy does not see Luffy at all anywhere. Everyone in the crowd. This is where she's trying to look around, but Luffy looks to be kind of blending in. This is where Luffy says, hey, shoot her with the invention. This is where the person says, ah, oh, yes, sir. So this is where one person shot something straight to Lucy. And Lucy could have, like, she kind of uses her gumma gumma to try to uh, bounce it back. But when the bullet hits her, this is where she couldn't bounce it back. Because they exploded right in front of her. This is where, well, she started coughing up. But this is where her gumma, she feels extremely weak. Not just her gumma gumma, uh, devil fruit feeling extremely weak. No, she's feeling extremely weak. This is where Luffy is walking towards her. Slowly but surely. This is where if Lucy says, I'm not going to give up. I won't give up. This is where multiple Marines are going closer. Just to kill her. And Luffy is fine. Anyone that kills her is fine. It's just Luffy wants to enjoy seeing her suffer. This is where Lucy says, I won't give up. Nah. This is where she kind of uses Conqueror Spirit. And this is where, well, everyone, like a bunch of like uh, soldiers are kind of getting hit by the Conqueror Spirit. And Luffy feels it, and this is where he's enraged. This is where, well, so many people are impressed with Conqueror Spirits, even uh, Ace. This is where Luffy says, no! This is where he sends his own powerful wave of Conqueror Spirit, it's colliding with what's it called, Lucy's. This is where she gets overpowered and gets pushed back. This is where a bunch of people are white in their eyes. Luffy says, I'm not letting you do any of that. Soldiers, if you can get up, get ready and shoot more attacks at her. This is where, well, a bunch of more attacks are going to be aligned straight to Lucy. And this is where, before Lucy was about to get hit, this is where that one dude kind of appears to magic cut through it and kind of make a pathway for Lucy to get up there. This is where Luffy is getting angry. And this is where, well, Luffy says, no, you don't. This is where Luffy was about to go straight towards her. But this is where the guy kind of appears, the guy with the kind of scissors and all that. Or, I don't remember his goddamn name, but he looks like a half, uh, half and half, but yeah, half orange, half white. I don't remember his name. But this is where, well, him or her, I don't fucking care. I think I remember him transforming into a girl or something, but I don't fucking care that much. Half, half. I, I'm gonna call him half, half. But this is where he appears to try to attack Luffy. Luffy made an obsidian, uh, sword. Like, not an obsidian sword. He didn't pull out his obsidian sword. He put it back after fighting against that one dude. But this is where, well, he made an obsidian like, uh, like gloves and punches this guy in the face. Like, coated his, uh, well, hand and obsidian mostly, but yeah, punches this guy in the face, pushing him away. That's where Luffy says, You're not escaping. This is where Luffy starts rushing towards Lucy. This is where Luffy kind of made a, like, spike of obsidian, like, in his hand, like, he made a ball. And he was about to throw it at Lucy until Garp appears smashing through. Saying, I will not let you get through. Straw hat. This is where Lucy says, get out of the way, Grandpa. I won't. This is where Luffy throws the ball anyway. Because he doesn't care. He knows that Garp is going to just take uh, Lucy kind of slowly. This is where the spike ball hits Lucy in the back. This is where she screams out. This is where Luffy says, oh, not Lucy. Not Luffy. Lucy says, Gamma, Gamma, second gear. She punches Garp. This is where Garp gets pushed away. But Luffy, he managed to kind of like, uh, he lands back down and says, Damn it! I knew he was going to hold back. This is where Kobe say, well, not, yeah. Kobe kind of, uh, not Kobe, no, not Kobe. Kobe did get punched, but yeah. This is where Luffy says, No, you don't. 
obsidian spikes, seven uh, uh, spears of heavenly crush, or not heavenly crush, justice. This is where he sends him all straight towards Lucy, and of course, where well, Lucy did kind of make her uh, body into the paw of the Gamma uh, expansion. So when the Buddha kind of hits her, this is where she did became small, and this is where well that bond clay did appear, kind of like giving her the key and all that, giving uh, freeing the uh, Ace. But this is where when the Incidian spikes were getting close to her, this is where Ace Ace's flame. Oh well, what's it called? Fire burst! This is where he sends a very powerful fire attack straight to the Insidians. This is where some of them are getting pushed back, but one was going straight towards uh, Ace and uh, Lucy. This is where Ace won his eyes. This is where he managed to dodge it by kind of mid-air using his fire. This is where he lands on the ground. And this is where both Lucy and Ace are right now fighting. Luffy is getting angry. He, his anger is being just, just kind of tipped off. When I mean tipped off, he's fully exploding in his head. He's saying, no, no, no. No, none of this is going to happen. I will kill them. They will die by my hands. Luffy is getting closer and rushes towards Ace and Lucy. Lucy jumps away because she knows she won't be able to take on her twin brother. This is where Ace appears saying, no, I will not let you kill her. This is where Luffy did not care about Lucy. This is where he had his obsidian spike, like an obsidian spear, but turned into a trident and trying to stab at Ace. Ace dodges it. Ace winds his eyes. He seems that Luffy is not going after Lucy, but straight up him. Luffy says, you're, you're not escaping. You fucking scumbag. Pirates, you're all dead. You're all need to fucking die. Perish. Die. This is where all that Ace sees in uh, Luffy's eyes is hatred. Pure fucking murderous hatred towards him and Lucy. This is where Ace does remember, like, back then, when, yes, him, Sabo, and even Lucy did it, kind of bully Luffy a lot, and kind of made him suffer a lot back then, but he didn't expect Luffy to just explode with hatred and want to just nothing but murder him, kill his own sister, kill everyone that he doesn't fucking like. This is where, well, he didn't expect Luffy to be this murderous and hatred towards him, especially towards Lucy. This is where Ace says, I will not let you hurt her. This is where Luffy says, then die. This is where Ace dodges the spike. But this is where Luffy, or not spike, mostly spear. Try that mostly. And this is where Luffy, like, lets go of it and kicks him using an armament, uh, like, armament coated uh, leg. Kick, well, not kicked him, mostly kneed him in the stomach. This is where Ace caught the blood. Well, yeah, blood, because not just a city, well, not just an armor man hawking, but also a city encoded in that, uh, like, leg, or mostly knee. This is where Ace, like, caught the blood, but this is where Luffy stabbed him, with his hand just being flat, but turned into a city and just stabbing him right in the chest. This is where Ace caught the blood. This is where Luffy screams, no! This is where Luffy says, die. Why don't you? I want you to die. Die, die, die. This is where Ace says, <laughs> even if you tried to kill me, she will become stronger. Luffy says, I don't give a shit. Only you, dad. You will be the perfect thing. I want you to just die. This is where, well, Lucy appears punching him in the face and pushing him further away. This is where Luffy says, No! This is where Lucy is right now grabbing Ace and trying to take him towards, well, the boats. This is where Aikado appears. This is where Aikado says, Magma, Magma Punch! This is where, well, uh, Ace had to push Luffy, uh, well, not Luffy, Lucy away. And this is where he had to sacrifice himself by using his own flames instead of running away with Lucy. But this is where he turns into a donut. But yeah. This is where Luffy smiles. His evilly, creepily smile. I, this is where Garp, he tries to get up, but this is where, well, he, like, gets smashed back down. And this is where, uh, San, yeah, Sengoku says, no, uh, no Garp. <sighs> of course, yes, Sengoku did reveal that Lucy is, well, kind of family with Luffy. It's just Luffy's an emerald, well, not an emerald, a captain. But he didn't reveal, like, the full name of Luffy. 
No, he rebelled Lucy's name, and of course, uh, rebel uh, what's it called uh, Ace's kind of like heritage. But yeah, that's where Luffy saying, "Yes, yes, die." That's where Luffy be, uh, he didn't actually notice this, but uh, like essence of the devil fruit of Ace did kind of transform into one of the fruits that he has in his coat. But he didn't care. He was still walking towards to kill. Uh, Lucy. Lucy was screaming, saying no, until, well, Jinbei appears. But this is where Luffy appears, saying, A Scythian armor, domain spike. This is where, well, a Scythian started appearing all around Jinbei. And this is where Jinbei only saw one entrance. And this is where he managed to jump out of it. This is where, well, he did get hit in the leg when a Scythian spike, like, through his leg. This is where... Lucy, uh, not Lucy, Luffy is screaming, no, you need to die, now I won't let you escape, this is where Aikado did get beaten up by, well, uh, Whitebeard, but Whitebeard says, I need to stop that kid from actually killing Lucy, this is where, well, Luffy says, no, I won't die, this is where, well, uh, Whitebeard appears saying, then you have to die. For killing Ace. This is where, well, Luffy turns around. This is where he gets hit by it like a quake fist and smashing through multiple walls. This is where multiple soldiers say, Luffy! This is where Luffy ends up coughing up. Just a little bit of spit, but also some blood. This is where Luffy says, This is where, well, Luffy, he kind of gets back up. And this is where Luffy says, I won't die. No. Now, I won't die to someone like you, you fucking pirates. That's where, well, Luffy's anger voice is just getting angrier and angrier. That's where uh, Blackbeard wanted Whitebeard to kind of be kind of set into an island with them so he can kill him. But that's where Luffy awoke into something so much deadlier that no one actually ever expected to ever happen to a Loki of fruit. Armor started appearing around Luffy, like a Scythian armor. Now, you want to know how it looks like? Well, let me show you. This is how Luffy's, like, armor appeared. Like, everything started turning black. This is where it just became like this, so yeah. Also, this is where, well, his sword did also become, well, not his sword. He still has it on his back. But this is where he made a sword, kind of looking like that. But yeah. Luffy looks so demonic. This is where a tail of Obsidian actually appears. Horns started appearing. So yeah. This is where Luffy rushes towards, uh, towards Whitebeard. Whitebeard tries to hit him with a quick attack again. But Luffy kind of uses a sword to block against, well, the uh, Naginata. But yeah. This is where Luffy says, I won't die. No, until I kill you. I need to complete my mission. This is where... White bears start fighting against uh, Luffy, but of course, this is where Luffy is managing to do so many attacks at White Bear. So much damage, more damage than any flintlock or uh, what to call uh, sword stab wounds or anything that can do. Luffy is do doing so much damage. White Bear says, I will not die. This is where he hits uh, Luffy one more time. This is where Black Bear saying, No, no, no. I need to kill White Bear. Me, not him. This is where Luffy, he managed to stab Whitebeard in the heart using his Ascidian sword. Not the one that he has on his back. No, he still has that. But the one he created. This is where Whitebeard screams out saying, You are not the one to be seen by White, uh, by Goldie Roger. Or neither are you, Blackbeard. This is where he says, Because the One Piece is real. This is where Luffy says, Shut up and die. This is where he... Then kind of the Obsidian sword was still stabbing to, well, um, like what's called uh, Whitebeard's chest. This is where Obsidian exploded from the sword. This is where so many like piercings around uh, Whitebeard appears. This is where so many people are crying just because Luffy killed Whitebeard. Luffy is screaming. Well, not screaming now. He's laughing like a maniac. This is where, well... Uh, something happens. Luffy's, t uh, one of his fruit actually appears into a devil fruit. And that is Whitebeard's devil fruit. Luffy looks into his coat because he still has it on. Mostly, it, tr it did transform into a black, uh, coat. So, yeah. That's where Luffy smiles and sees the fruits being intact. 
This is where Luffy is smiling. <laughs> this is where Luffy, he gets out of the way because a darkness attack was about to hit him. This is where Luffy then made a domain of life. What's it called? For, he says domain. For, uh, what's it called? Forest of obsidian spikes. This is where that many obsidian spikes appear. Think of like, the, uh, the forestation from like, you know how Madara did it, but yeah. But mostly there are obsidian spikes. This is where Luffy appears next to Aikado and says, Sir, look. This is where Aikado says, I see. So it was true. Also, how many double fruits you have? I don't know. This is where Aikado says, Luffy, I want you to do one thing. One thing with that double fruit. Now, Luffy still kind of had, well, his like armor was kind of covering up his mouth mostly. And, of course, but you can still hear him mostly. This is where... Uh, so many people are confused what Aikado is going to tell Luffy. And seeing that devil fruit, people are confused. What is that? This is where Aikido says, eat the devil fruit of Whitebeard. This is where Blackbeard says, no, you cannot. He sends a yummy yummy attack, uh, splash attack straight towards, well, both Aikido and, uh, Luffy. Luffy starts chomping on the devil fruit. This is where, well... Uh, Aikai uh, Aikaido just sent a magma attack to clash with the, uh, what's it called, attack. He would have chased after Lucy, but he didn't care that much. It's a war. He wanted to know what would happen with two Del Fruit users kind of mixed together. Luffy's chest started erupting. This is where he's feeling so much powerful, but also his body's feeling in pain. This is where Luffy did grab onto his chest. Well, his kind of like chest as armor mostly. This is where, well, Aikido says, are you okay, Luffy? Luffy is saying, yeah. This is where Blackbeard is saying, no, not fair. I will be the one, you bastards. This is where Luffy says, do, do I kill him? This is where, well, Aikido says, yes. If you can move, then yes. This is where a sword was flying towards Luffy's head. This is where... Uh, I kind of like use magma punch to block the sword. And so where, well, Shanks appeared saying, Luffy, I always thought you were such a scary demonic kid. Always having no emotions. But now you're truly a monster. You kill white kid and you also try to kill your sister. A true monster like you are. Luffy says, screw you. This is where Luffy gets up. And rushes towards Whitebeard and his crew. This is where, uh, not Whitebeard, mostly Blackbeard. And this is where, well, I'm going to leave it off here. Have a nice potato day, potato night, potato day, potato, potato. And good night. Yes, it's already 2 o'clock and I, I need to go fucking sleep. I need to take a nap. I need to shut up and yeah. But other than that, bye bye, potato, potato. And <clears throat> bye. But yeah. Oh, before I leave, uh, um, when I'm actually gonna, I wanted to end it off in three parts, but I might have to end it off in a couple of parts. But other than that, bye bye, potato, potato, yeah, bye.